Greetings and welcome to another video. Today I want to compare the graphics update of Final Fantasy XIV's Dawn Tray expansion to the one that we recently played, which is Endwalker. And that's basically kind of close to the base game um, since Realm Reborn, so we didn't see massive changes to structures, to textures and all that stuff, to lighting, to shadows, so this is definitely something you will notice very quickly. And uh, it's not just a gimmick. Okay, so how do we check this and how can we compare it piece by piece, picture by picture? The closest I could get is just using the same character in both character creations. So in the Endwalker version and the Dawn Trail version, the Dawn Trail can be accessed by downloading the benchmark from the official website. Just Google for benchmark or follow the link under the video. There you can download that. Then you install it or unpack it, unzip it, install it, and then just open up the little benchmark menu, which looks like the following. Here, you have multiple options. You can use the settings here. You can go to character creation or start by benchmarking your hardware and system. But this time we want to just use the character creation as a benchmark to see how the graphics update is working. And of course, on the same page, I have started my normal Final Fantasy client here, which just uses the same character and appearance data, but with the old graphics model. So let's just try out and zoom in to see the details here. Okay, just a quick note, I have not applied any graphical update or any mod or anything like that, because of course we don't use mods, right? But just to make sure, this is the unmodded version and no filters are applied now. And this is Dysperia basically on the game we played for the last 10 years, and this is this period when Dawn Trail is being released. And you can see there is a glimmering in her eye that I'm not familiar with and I have to get used to a bit. And I guess we might have to alter the appearance of our characters, which some people were already complaining about. I guess you can still get to the same result very, very closely, but you might have to change certain values here a bit because these values kinda changed and we don't know if the exact same value that you have applied before will apply in the same way in Dawn Trail. So definitely just check out these values and go through them piece by piece. At least for hair, it's not perfect. It's still not the best way of creating hair. But I can tell you Tekken 8, if you played that, uh, for example, is designed and created in Unreal Engine 5 and that looks awesome in many, many ways. But even this game, even Unreal Engine 5 can't really handle hair. Hair is the most difficult aspect in graphical design, um, at least to my knowledge. So that's something we can definitely forgive here. On the other hand, if you take a closer look at the armor, that's something that has changed massively. And just swapping between these pieces, you can see the skirt has a totally different texture and way more three-dimensional in my opinion. I'm not sure the lighting is more realistic here. In the old version, this is the old version, you can see that this is just a plain white being applied and I guess there's no lighting source that actually works with it too much. Or yeah, it's, it's much more simple. Here we have true lighting sources that enlighten the, the surface of the cloth here. And yeah, just these ornaments, the leather texture here, it's, it's a whole new level. That's definitely a whole new level and that's a standard gear. That's just the base starter gear for Mikoti. I think we, we all have to get used to the change in, especially on the face, because the face is the most recognizable feature of our characters, right? And they have been reworking this a lot. And I heard that many people were very satisfied with the result and some people were kind of off put by it because they can't recognize their characters anymore. And like I said, just try out these values here uh, again, because some of these values might not be applied in the same way they had been applied before. And you might just get uh, to the same result as before by just applying different um, values now. But yeah, overall, this is how Despira looks in the Endwalker and Dawn Trail version. This is Endwalker, and this is Dawn Trail. And the best thing, as you can see here, if we zoom out very, very far, we have this shimmer this shimmer of anti-aliasing, but that's not present anymore. We have a perfectly smooth 
anti-aliasing feature and that's working very well. So definitely make sure if you want to see how the graphical update is applied to your character and to gear. And of course, if we're talking about the new character creation process in Dawn Trail, there's something we have to talk about, which of course includes the new race, the female Rothka. So you can just go through that piece by piece. You can select whatever race you want. You get some additional info here and uh -huh. then you can run through the whole process of creating them. And that's definitely something that the benchmark is offering basically every time we have a new benchmark for a new expansion. And you can see a very good glimpse of the characters they have been introducing here. And yeah, that's why everybody is so hyped about the Dawn Trail benchmark or benchmarks in general for Final Fantasy XIV because they show so many new details and new features, new systems, and this time in, in particular, the graphics update in place and how it will affect the overall graphics of Final Fantasy XIV in Dawn Trail. So thank you for watching. More info about how the graphics update and all the settings and new graphics system changes will affect Dawn Trail but more to that in another video tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep loving Final Fantasy.